Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday, start of a new week, and the continuation of the first week of Foot Birthday with hopefully some upgrade packs coming today, as it usually is on Mondays. We get upgrade packs, and today we're specifically hoping for one type of upgrade player pick, the 81 plus with three options and we have some good news that history is on our side with that SBC the exact same one dropping last year on the first week of a birthday so we hope for that upgrade SBC today I'll talk about that and other content we might see today on the game and as well as just again chat about foot birthday content in general with the SBCs the swaps tokens that are coming out like multiple per day since they're dropping 24 tokens over a two-week period right they're gonna have to drop tokens a lot and they have been and then also talk about the player SBCs the mini release that we had yesterday because the content honestly seems especially for the player SBCs it seems a little bit dull and I wonder if the fact that the swaps program is out that we have had some other like the icon prime icon upgrade yesterday is kind of glossing over the fact that the player SBCs that we have had so far and Dombele and Frederick specifically have not really been that good in terms of the stats on the cards. Yes, they're interesting. I think both of these were overpriced and not good enough statistically. Mkhitaryan is the only good one that we've had so far, in my opinion. So we'll talk about that today and the market because I think with the content being a little bit lackluster, but still a lot of lightning rounds and a lot of supply coming on the market, this market does have some coins. And I think that uh, you could see a bit of a market rise today after weekend league rewards time frame so we're going to talk about all of that today in the video so if you're having fun during foot birthday make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video and of course subscribe if you're new let's start with today and we're going to start with today's content on monday now mondays have been upgrade pack days uh for like all the promos that we've had um throughout this whole year of fiva 22 now again like i mentioned everybody wants upgrade packs during foot birthday because if you look at the team Ronaldo, Suarez, Cruz, Grealish, Nuno Mendes, Allen. There's so many cards that are in this team with the inclusion of the mini release yesterday and specifically this Odegaard who looks incredible, uh, which I bought a bunch of this guy when he got cheap earlier today in like a 480,000 coin range. He's coming back down a little bit. He was 550, but five star, five star lean body type. Everybody is super excited about this card because he looks cracked in game from the mini release yesterday. But the point here is, is that People are going to want to spam upgrade packs for especially the Ronaldo, right? But the just five-star skill, five-star weak foot, insane nature to these cards, people are going to want to spam upgrade packs um, to try to pack these cards. Now, again, we've had the 80-plus upgrade with a three-player option. We've had the 81-plus player pick with a two-player option. Now, last year, during the first week of birthday, we had the 81-plus player pick with a three player option. So that is what we are hoping for today. That would be the player pick that would make everybody happy. If we get anything other than that, I think people might be a little bit disappointed. Um, maybe if it's an 80 plus player pick, it's really cheap with maybe four options or something like that, that would be pretty dope. But if it's not a player pick and it's not at least 80 plus or 81 plus, some people are gonna be disappointed for sure. But I think that's just gonna be, whatever the SBC is for an upgrade SBC, so many people are gonna wanna go out on the game and get involved with that today as a part of content. Now, the only problem with that is, yes, they're gonna be doing it to try to pack cards, but what SBCs would you craft right now, right? Uh, the mid icon player pick is still out, but now we have icon moments where it's like, yeah, okay, this is decent, but we have icon moments that you see out in the game and you're like, why do I wanna do an SBC to get a mid icon? We have a prime icon upgrade, which is not that expensive that we saw yesterday, which we thought was gonna get re-released and it did. But then after that, if you craft those things, what else is there to do? Fredericks and Dombele, who is overpriced and honestly not that great of a card. I mean, I know they gave him the five-star weak foot. They should have given him five-star skills, but he has really sick dribbling. And other than that, the card is just not really that good for this stage of the game. Yes, I know it's a League One midfielder. I know some people are really liking the card because it feels good in game. I just think there's a way better way to spend your coins, um, you know, unless you have a ton of fodder and you love this guy. He used to play for Spurs. I should be wanting to do this SBC, but I really don't because I don't, the card just does not look that good. My point is though, EA needs to drop more SBCs. Yes, we might get, we might be getting the upgrade packs today, but what else is, are people going to go out and actually craft 
besides the icon upgrades we need better player SBCs and I hope that we get another good one as a part of today's content but as the leaks look we have another leaked player that could be dropping as an SBC today or at least in the coming days the stats don't look very good here's our next leak right Declan Rice which could be a really really cool card but EA when you give him these stats this looks like a center back stat line not a center defensive mid stat line 80 pace 91 defense 88 physical this needs to be like 85 pace 90 defense 90 physical up the passing up the dribbling to make it really really exciting and probably what they're going to price it at like this is going to probably be expensive like foot sheriff says here um and, and links to fredericks which no one completed right because the card is just not that great so it, it seems like we've kind of gone backwards from last year where, if, I mean, look, last year we had the Podolski SBC. Like, look at those stats, right? 90 pace, 92 shooting. Those were insane. The Ozil last year was really a cracked card. Um, you know, the, the Rodrigo Palacio was a really good card last year. The Vidal, the SBCs that we had last year were so much better in terms of player cards than what we've seen so far. So hopefully EA turn it around and start putting out some good players because as of right now, uh, I feel like that's the worst part of the promo so far is the player SBC content. Now, they've released one every single day so far and I would hope and you know maybe they're gonna continue that trend and maybe they'll get better. The one thing I'll say though is whenever we see stuff like this, it, it's not like EA is doing it just to try to make you to, to spend extra money to get a Fredericks SBC done or to get it an Endobile and they know what they're doing with this, right? They know that right now, the swaps program, they're putting out a ton of hype into that. They just released a bunch of cards into packs. And it seems like they want us to focus on the swaps program and maybe some of the objectives and the cards in packs. And I think maybe they're holding out some of that better SBC content until later on. So if you're doing upgrade packs today, um, you know, save that fodder, right? If you're doing the player fix, whatever comes out today, just hold on to that fodder. Don't feel like you have to do an SBC, even if it's sitting in your unassigned. I have 283s, I think, right now in my unassigned. Yeah, I could probably just discard them, but you know, there's. I'm just gonna wait until I get an SBC, right? I like to be stingy like that a little bit, and I would just recommend that that you guys honestly be a little bit like that too, right? Wait for better SBCs until they come out or something that you want to do. Um, especially when you're opening those player picks that we would expect to come today. So that's kind of what's going on with the SBC section of the market. Now, I don't even know if they dropped another objective yesterday. Um, foot birthday, let me sort by new milestones. Oh yeah, I, I got my first thing done from the foot birthday tour in 81 times three. So, you know, they might drop another objective today. They're continually dropping these swap tokens. I think we're up to seven tokens that have been dropped so far in total. I would imagine that we would get another one or two today, probably the foot 15, right? Since we had foot 14 yesterday, foot 15 is probably gonna be today. Um, and then I would assume another token somewhere else is going to be dropped somewhere um, in the game as well. So that's just kind of something to watch out for as a part of today's Monday content. Other than that, I'm not entirely sure what else is gonna be dropping today unless ea have a surprise like gamble pack sbc for us there's nothing new that's been added to the code as far as i know uh so we will have to see what goes on with that now let's talk about the market and stuff like this too because uh we these constant lightning rounds are impacting the market a lot and there's a real like, there's a big mix right now it's kind of a jumbled mess on the market right you have some people that seem to be very hyped for foot birthday content and they're selling some cards because there are some out of pack specials and look at this mbappe dude mbappe 700k he is down a hundred thousand coins from last like literally a week ago he's down a hundred thousand coins and i don't understand why this is being panic sold right now apart from the fact that people are just genuinely excited for the foot birthday cards that are in packs and maybe they're selling th these types of cards to try out these brand new items with a five star weak foot with the five star skill moves and stuff like that. Now, some of the market also has not moved. You take a look at some Road to the Finals, right? There's big hype for Road to the Final cards with their games uh, this week and the potential upgrades that you have. That's why I'm saying the market's kind of all over the place, right? I bought a Mares yesterday uh, for uh, 927,000 coins. He's literally up almost 100K. Now, I think there's a bit of there's a bit of IRL hype involved with this too. The Manchester City cards rose a bit yesterday and the Manchester United cards 
dropped a little bit. If you guys were wondering what in the world happened to this Road to the Final Alex Tellez, I literally just think this card dropped in price because Manchester United fans were not happy with that game. And maybe their performance yesterday makes them less likely to believe in their in, in this team uh, in next week's Champions League game against Atletico Madrid. I'm not sure. I, I wouldn't read into that too much. Um, honestly, what I see this as is an opportunity to buy this Tellez at a cheaper price. He was down at 215 post game yesterday after the City United game. Uh, so, you know, honestly, that per that game, although you could say that it does affect the Champions League performance a little bit, it doesn't affect this card at all. There's no left backs from the Prem that are leaked to drop his SBCs. So this card in the low 220s is not a bad buy for me because he's literally down like 30,000 coins. He was 250. Um, before then, he was down under 220 earlier. So that was kind of crazy there. But again, it's just these foot birthday cards that are, it's got their, everybody hyped, right? Like I mentioned, the Odegaard, I think a lot of people want to try this card out. So maybe some of your Premier League links will do decent. This Odegaard is dropping. He was 550, and now he's coming back down because they're running lightning rounds right now again. Uh, he was down at 480,000 coins, and I picked up like, I'm not even kidding. I think I picked up 10 of them. I went like almost 5 million coins in this Odegaard because he has so much hype and he's really rare. So that's part of what I might expect today after weekend league rewards would be a little bit of a rise on the market because again, like we mentioned, there's so much focus on um, the, the cards that are in packs. I think that you might see some cards get really low this morning on Monday, maybe around the weekend league rewards time frame, stuff like that. Like take a look at Tony Cruz. This guy is like under 700K. Yeah, 697, and they're sitting a full hour on the market at 700,000 coins. These late night or maybe early morning lightning rounds and the Foot Champs reward supply coming in. Uh, you know, some people are probably going to go out on the market and say, hey, I, I want to buy some of these cards and go try them out. Uh, Allen is 715K. Again, we saw huge price drop offs yesterday. We're seeing some more drop offs today. Cristiano Ronaldo. His foot birthday card is uh, 4.8 mil, I believe, at the moment, or just under 4.9. So he has dropped down. Yeah, 4.865. Uh, he has dropped down in price. I would imagine that some of your foot birthdays today would rebound after the rewards time period. So again, you, you just kind of have to work off of what is hype, right? So people are selling their Golden Bappe. Some of the other out of packs cards you're seeing some selling on. But I think today after rewards, you might see a couple of those foot birthdays pick back up. You could see some out of packs cards uh, pick back up as well, right? Um, you know, maybe like this Telez will rebound back up a little bit or Taliso with a game tomorrow, you know, or some of the future stars that are very rare that have been sold off and are down in price. Gravenberch is down. Uh, that Timber SBC is still another one of those players that we could be seeing very soon. That player SBC looked pretty dope. Daka is down a little bit. So if you don't want to mess around with stuff that is in packs, I just think that there's so much focus on the cards that are in packs right now. Wow, this card's 920? Golly, that see, it's just kind of weird how some parts of the market are just dropping off a little bit, but other parts are not. Holland was 390 earlier yesterday. Now he's 432, right? Goretzka was 315. Now he's 353. Foden is down a lot right now. He'll probably rebound back at some point. So that's what I'll be looking out for if you're watching this video and you're like, Nate, how can I get involved with the market? Check the out of packs cards and maybe some of the foot birthdays. I think you could see a, some uh, some a bit of a bit of a rise with those today on Monday after the rewards time frame. Now I have to talk about SBC fodder too because these cards, again with the consistent supply, these cards are on a roller coaster ride. Take a look at Bruno Fernandez. So yesterday we had the Prime Icon SBC, right? Uh, look at what happened here, which we said was probably coming. This guy went from 28K, spiked to 35 when that SBC came out, and 38K on Xbox. And now look, he's back down to 28. It's basically this scenario all over again. This is perfect if you love trading SBC fodder. We have demand from a prime icon, mid icon player pick that is out, and probably more SBCs coming this week. And we have supply right now, but we probably have less supply coming throughout the rest of this week because I would assume that lightning rounds are going to slow down. So taking a look at SBC fodder, I think it is a thumbs up from me at the moment. Some 84s look really good. Club stock and some 83s. Club stock and some of these 88s, these 89s. Uh, you know, Harry Kane, 44,000 coins. We were looking at this card last night at 50K. What did he do with the SBC? So he was uh, 47K, went up to 52 and is now down to 44. I would stock these cards as well um, because I know that you're like, Nate, what SBCs are going to come out to make these go up? There's still a mid-icon player pick and there's still that prime icon upgrade. 
and you we i guess we can hope that some other full birthday sbcs will come out but the fact that those two icon upgrades are there uh people will do those when they have coins like people do right now from all of the supply that's coming on the market and when they have SBC fodder. So again, you can see this 347K for a prime icon upgrade is not that expensive and it's got an 84% upvote. So just keep an eye out for stuff like this because you know fodder today, probably after weekend league rewards is, is gonna go up too. So I would take a look at this during this, you know, when you're waking up, watch this video or whatever time frame it is for you, keep an eye on the fodder because I don't expect lightning rounds today on Monday. I don't expect lightning rounds on Tuesday, maybe on Wednesday, maybe on Thursday. Um, and especially as we, t if we start to kind of think about, Hey, Ooh, voice crack. That was pretty bad. Um, let's redo that. Hey, uh, what time frame would I be looking at to buy one of these foot birthday cards for my team? Honestly, early thoughts on this from me would be we're going to wait till the end of the week because again we have some pretty big names that are rumored slash leaked for the team two dibala fakir roberto firmino right uh there's some pretty big names that are leaked for team two of a birthday and especially with potential you know there's always during these weeks when they run so many lightning rounds they could do some lightning rounds later on in the week um, and you never know what kind of content is going to drop. But since there's a lot of hype for team two as well, I would definitely wait on these cards until the end of the week. In my opinion, the only one that I would maybe not wait on if you see a price that has dropped off so much that you think you want it for your team is this Cristiano Ronaldo, because this Ronaldo is incredibly rare, incredibly hyped. And I honestly think that right now, this is the same price as the team of the year. And I think post uh, post foot birthday, I think this card is probably going to rise above the team of the year uh, and stay at a higher price just because he's got the five-star weak foot. The pros are going to love him. They can use him in events where, that only require one team of the year item because he does not count as the team of the year. And it's still a Ronaldo card with a five-star five-star. So just kind of keep an eye on a card like that or some of the really rare ones. Um, but again, if you're wanting to buy any of these cards for your team, we're going to cover this, of course, later on down the week. That's going to be a big weight from me, in my opinion. So the market, again, is it's just in a really interesting place. Now, again, like I mentioned, I bought a bunch of Odegaards. I've sold one of them. I uh, have a couple listed. But yeah, I was picking these up for like 475 480 And now he is on the market. I think he's like 520 But he's only, he was 550 just for a bit um, before he started getting listed again. I think I'm just going to hold these um, until after rewards today. Is he back to 530? Dude, this, this guy has so much hype. It's crazy. I mean, we were streaming yesterday on Twitch and it seemed like every single minute somebody was coming in the chat and asking the stream, hey, when should I buy Odegaard? When should I buy Odegaard? He looks insane. I think people just want to try him out. So um, that's a card that is just, it's so rare as well. If we take a look at this card in terms of rarity, how many pages in total does he have on the market right now? One, two, three, four, five pages for an 89 rated card. This, the mini release cards are always so incredibly rare and this one's no exception. So that's why I really like that buy that I made there. If he goes back under 500K during like, you know, the rewards time frame today, I think that could be a great time to maybe pick one of those up for a quick flip. I think he could go down a little bit more later on in the week again with a lot of hype for team two as we were talking about and stuff like that. So just kind of keep that uh, in mind as well there. But icon moments are also a big part of the market right now. And I'm, I'm watching some of these cards because they they fluctuate a ton and they, they're they very profitable, but also um, they're, they're still in packs and EA is running a lot of lightning rounds. So it makes for some interesting fluctuations in prices. Uh, Pirlo was like 1.4 mil earlier and now he's 900K, right? So you have tons of drops. Uh, Pushkas was extinct at 9.4 and now he was, he, he wasn't even selling at 8 mil, but now look, his cheapest on the market is 8.4. So these cards just move a ton. There's so much fun to trade with. Uh, and if you can find a really low price and lock in a deal, then you can make some coins. And I think there will be some more movements on these cards after rewards today too, just because again, people are going to want to go out and try some of these items, um, because they're still brand new and that's where the hype and that's where the focus is right now on on uh wow rooney's two mil flat and it's not even getting bought uh two 1.9 flat is that sitting oh my goodness <laughs> i bought one of these at 195 last night and sold it at 2.3 mil i think it's on my transfer list here uh, i posted it on twitter that that was my first icon moments flip was the big boy rooney and look at how much his price has dropped off just in one day so again if you don't want to mess with impact stuff 
out of pack stuff is going to be completely fine to trade with and it's still going to fluctuate um, a lot on the market but that's just kind of the feeling and the vibes that i'm getting with the market at the moment is people have coins but they're really excited about foot birthday that's why i think some of these cards could do really well today after rewards and then from there on and for the rest of this week it's really just going to depend on the content that ea put out it's really just going to depend on the content that ea put out whether it's going to be um player prices dropping throughout the rest of this week are the player SBCs going to actually improve uh or are they just going to kind of keep those pulled back as they want everybody to focus on foot birthday swaps um and and stuff like that throughout this week i'm really not sure so we're going to have to just kind of slide through this week and see what ea do content wise but at the moment i'd still say foot birthday is pretty popular and people are very happy with it because of all the brand new cards that are coming out so if you guys think anything differently or have any comments, let me know down below in the description of this video. But again, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's, it's just kind of a weird mix right now with content and packs being cool, but I feel like the SBCs are being a downfall. So hopefully today upgrade packs can change that, put some grindability to the menus again, maybe stock your club with rares and non-rare golds for a cheap price because there's going to be so much hype again with a Ronaldo in packs. People are going to spend coins on upgrade packs just because they might have a one in one million chance or whatever it's going to be to pack that foot birthday Ronaldo. But again, if you did enjoy the video, smash the thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new. It has been Nate, the foot account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.